I am going to teach you how to multiply a whole number and decimal times a whole number and decimal using the rectangular sections method. I'm going to multiply 2 and 4 tenths times 3 and 5 tenths. So, first I need to look and see how many digits are in each number. My first number has two digits. I'm going to make that my columns. So I know I only need two columns, one for each digit in the number. I am going to break that number apart in expanded notation. So I know 2 and 4 tenths represents two wholes and 4 tenths. Now I'm going to look at my second number, 3 and 5 tenths. I know that there are two digits in that number, so I am going to have two rows, one for each digit in my number. I'm now going to expand 3 and 5 tenths to 3 wholes and 5 tenths. The second step in the rectangular sections method is to turn both of these digits or both of these numbers into smaller multiplication problems to make it easier to um, solve at the end. So the three in the first row and the two in the first column meet in the first cell right here. So I'm going to turn that into the smaller multiplication problem of three times two. I know three times two is six. So that is my very first number in the problem. Now I'm going to take this first three in the first row and I'm going to meet it up with the four tenths in the second column. I know I'm going to have three wholes times four tenths. Now I know when multiplying a whole number by a decimal, I pretend like they're just two whole numbers at first, and I know three times four equals 12. And now I need to look at the decimal places. Only one of those numbers has a decimal, and it's only one place over from the back. So I'm going to move my decimal one place over from the back, and my new number is one and two tenths. So, so far, the numbers that I have are 1 and 2 tenths and 6 wholes, which I'm going to add a 0 to the end of 6 wholes to make sure that I have place value consistent throughout all of my numbers. So now I'm going to move on to the second row. I have 5 tenths, and 5 tenths meets up with 2 wholes. I know 5 times 2 is 10, and I notice I only have one decimal in that problem. It's only one jump over. So my answer here will be one whole. I'm going to add that to my additional decimal to the right. Now the last smaller problem I have to work, we have 5 tenths times 4 tenths. I know 5 times 4 is 20, but look, I have two numbers with decimals. So I'm going to jump one place for that number and one place for that number to make a total of two jumps. My new number is 20 hundredths, or 2 tenths. They're equivalent. However, I'm going to stick with 20 hundredths, and I'm just going to add 0 to the rest of these numbers to make sure all my place value is consistent. The last step is to add them all together. I know that 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 4. Since this is addition, I just carry down the decimal place. 1 plus 6 plus 1. 8. And my answer to 2 and 4 tenths times 3 and 5 tenths is 8 and 40 hundredths, or 8 and 4 tenths. You can check this over using an algorithm. You can check this over and see if it's close using an estimation strategy as well.